is. Right, I'll switch it back to the screen in just a minute. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay, now what we'll do is let's start with this rabble here. Put the K4 engine down and the K4 tender down. And let's just take cookies around the room, shall we? no idea whether the K4 can pull these cookies around. Actually, this K4, the, originally this was going to be one of the, like, the most important locos in this product, but it was found it was extremely hard to drive and keep on the track, um, which is why the F7 was done instead. <laughs> so let's see how we go, shall we? All I'm going to do is just drive it for a little while. Oh, it does apparently have particle effects. I am lying. I do need to click it, though, don't I? Right. So, we're going to go forwards, um, we'll go that way, actually let's go that way, go around behind the cushion, the, the settee, or sofa, come around across there, we'll go by uh, those there, come around by the tree, uh, and then we'll come back into there and we'll see whether or not we can make it up the spiral and go and land on and finish on the mantelpiece. Right. You can. Uh, it's it's hundred percent. It's not a price. So it's a forwards backwards control. Cookies. Oh yes. You see how it's wobbling quite a lot. It just does not like these tight turns. Yeah, there's no cab view. There is a head out view. Cheers, Darkness Monster. Thanks for the scenario. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't have any copies of these, Kevrev, to give away. Oh, mouse trap round here. Right, see a train lower. I'm going to slow down a bit for the corner. I have no idea whether this train will cope. So we'll play it safe. 15 will do. I think before we finish tonight, we'll have a robot uprising on Riviera Line. What do you think? I think Kingsway needs a robot uprising. This loco comes with the um, the Holiday Express. None of the scenarios use it, but it does come with it. Of 
course, if you win this route, you also get this track, which is uh, if you want to make your own model railway type things. Yeah, given the way we're losing speed there, I don't think we're going to make it to too many uh, places. But let's see until we let's, let's finish until we're uh, until go until we run out of puff. I think you'll notice there's no boiler controls or anything. This is not a steam engine. This is an electric engine with particle effects and steam sounds. <laughs> Gently down the hill. If I had a bit more confidence, we go a bit faster, but I kind of want to show the loco rather than just race it and fall it off. through Robot Town. Go around the back of the Christmas tree. It isn't a real steam local I'm trying to love that's the point. It's a Richie Rails. Yeah, well, the idea was that this was meant to be a, de a dead easy loco to drive that just looked like a steam train. I mean, the K4 is sort of a, um, a sort of a, a common dis type design, really, I guess, for a, a Christmas train. Looks quite fetching in bright red. <laughs> right, so we've made it this far, but this is all flat. We've been running on the ground. Now we've got to try and make it up there. So we're coming round here, we're going to make it all the way around there, run round the spiral and come up to the piano. I'm not convinced that's going to work. Wobble, wobble, wobble around there. here and then we'll make it not far until we start our first major climb
Get past the elephants. Go past the little soldiers versus ducks war. This is where I don't know if we're going to make it, but let's try it. Like, I'm not even sure we're going to get on the corner, let alone go round it. Well, that's a start. No, we're not going to make it up this hill. No brakes on these wagons, so if I let them go, they're just going to go flying. Yeah, well. <laughs> Very good. Very good, uh, cop lopper. Come on, I think I can. I know I can. I think I can. I know I can. I think I can. I know. Come on, then. Top is miles away. But so how will the sander help me if I'm not slippy? I don't even think there is a sander on this, actually. Gonna do it. Am I gonna let a wagon go? Ready? Bye bye, Mr. Wagon. There we go, we're accelerating. We're accelerating. <laughs> Slowly. Three less cookies. That means that uh, Moggy doesn't get one, Acme Chief doesn't get one, and Coprop Mara doesn't get one, and the other six are for me. <laughs> Two and a half miles an hour. <laughs> Woohoo! Coplopper can have one, Moggy can have one. You can go and chase those ones that have fallen down. <laughs> Pick them off the floor. So, oh, the chuffing's starting to get regular now. We're not too far from the top now. Three second rule for the win.
Oh, we almost made it. All we got to do is get to the mantelpiece. That's the goal here. Get to the mantelpiece. Five miles an hour almost is warp speed. Give or take a few miles an hour. And that's the top! Right, well that's the lion's share of the climbing done, I think. We're making sure it does the transition onto the flat. gradient here, but I think this is a shallower one. What I think you've got to be wary of with this loco is the grade changes as well as the curves. Particularly if the grade changes have got curves themselves. No, again, Coplopper, this one has had the, um, all the physics have been changed so that it will actually move around. The Class 09, yeah, I mean, there, there was another pack, I can't remember what it was called, but it had everything from the 09 to the 13 in it. had problems. Up the junction, that was it. It's an RSDL pack, I remember rightly. Yes, it had the broad gauge route to go with the um, the Victorian Railways version of the R8, if I remember rightly. another cookie. We can lose all the cookies. No, nope, we can't do it. We're going to go back and get the cookies. Right, 
what we can do here is we'll lose the cookies and we'll try going up without it. further. We'll lose all the cookies. Try with the cookies first. Come on! Oh, that's just annoying! That is the very definition of annoying! back down again. Bit more of a push. I'll go a bit further back this time and we'll give it a bit of a harder run at it and see if we can't A stay on the track at the corner uh, and B um, make it up the hill. Hey there, Kieran. Are we ready? Are we confident? We've got two corners to try and make it around. Assuming we can get started. Am I the guy from Train Simulator YouTube channel person? I host the official channel, yes. Kind of thinking I should have started uh, on the uh, on the other side over there. Let's do that. a run up at this. I don't think we're going to make this because I'm going to gun it now. And we're going to be going way too fast. Let's hold it around 
30 as we go around this corner. Yay. Made it. 26. 27. We almost made it to 38 at the bottom. <clears throat> oh! 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 For the win! That's where I forget to take the throttle off and go flying off the other end. Ah, oh, yeah! We did it, folks. The little loco that could and did. Those cookies better be tasty. Yeah. Tastier than the ones down here that we left behind. Are they still there? Yeah, there they are. Look. Right. So, let me come back to here. And uh, I'll come out. We'll go and open the Riviera. <laughs> I'll make a clone of the Riviera.